Hey everyone, I'm Jacob, this is Sam. We're from Make Science Fun and we're in the series of doing some experiments using the Chem 3000, C3000 by Thames and Cosmos. Now today we're up to experiments six to 10. So I've gotten out the materials for experiment six to 10 and I've got the book here and let's do six to 10. So in a dry test tube, Sam, can you get a dry test tube, please? Yes. We're gonna make a mixture, two spoons each of table salt and ammonium chloride. So how about I put some table salt, which is, do you know the formula for table salt, Sam? Um, no. Sodium chloride. Oh yeah, sodium chloride. So, sodium chloride, so you put two spoons. Now it doesn't say big spoons or small spoons. No. So I, th Big spoon? I think I think small spoons. Okay. Two small spoons of sodium chloride. There's one. And two spoons of um, oh. ammonium chloride. And I'm oh. going to open that up with the special tool. And let's put in it's a white powder. Ammonium chloride is a white powder. So two spoons of that white powder. You put it in. <laughs> and uh, Sam and I both have a Dutch heritage. Our, my parents come from Holland and my parents are his grandparents. And um, we like a special lolly from Holland. What's the lolly that we like from Holland? Licorice. Salted licorice. And salmiac. And salmiac, a very important chemical in salmiac, is actually ammonium chloride. This this Wait. this is a salt. It's a special zinc salt. Eat it. You can actually, you can actually eat this, right? Now I'm not recommending that you eat chemicals out of like containers and that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, don't do that. But Sam, do you want me to try it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. So definitely do not eat chemicals, right? Like that this, you get out of chemistry kits, like this right? Like stupid guy. <laughs> Okay, but I'm pretty confident that, mmm, oh yeah, that's ammonium chloride. Have a taste, believe me, have a taste. You'll like it. Oh. Mmm, <laughs> it's a real zinger. Woo, yeah, mmm, don't do that. Okay, that's a bad example, definitely a bad example. Um, so you've now got a mixture of those what two white chemicals, yeah? Yeah. And um, we're going to actually, sh I'm going to show you a way to separate them, okay, to separate them out. And so what we need to do is we need to actually heat them. Heat them. Okay? We need okay. to heat them. So I think we need and to so, that tool. And so, oh, that will be in the way actually. Just, you can like a little spirit burner. So put the spirit burner there. Spirit burner. Mmm, mm, chloride. It's very tasty stuff. And do you want to heat it or do you want me to heat it? You can. Okay, so let's heat this up just gently. Okay, when you heat up with a test tube, you should always like move it around. But Sam, something something's going to happen in a moment. You watch. Something's going to go happen. Kaboom. I can see a little bit of um, some condensation happening there. Okay, it won't go kaboom. If it anything, looks... it would go crack because um, the glass like would break. Black. black? Yeah. When you move it. Yeah, that might be the um, black table cloth under it. Oh, yeah. All right, the can't see anything happening yet apart from a little. Oh, hang on. I think I think it's happening now. There's a little bit of. Oh, look! Look what's coming out steam. the top, Sam. No. No. Not it's steam. not steam. It looks like steam. But it's a white powder. It's a white smoke. It's a white smoke coming out of there. Look at that. Can you see that white smoke? Yeah, I and, can. Mm, it's actually tasty. So very tasty. That is actually the ammonium chloride. The ammonium chloride is actually um, sublimating. That means it's going directly from a solid to a gas. Now there's a very, very cold substance that goes directly from a solid to a gas. Do you know what that very, very cold substance is? Ice. What type of ice? Dry ice. Dry ice. Solid carbon dioxide gas. 
And um, this is ammonium chloride coming off. It sublimates the sodium chloride. They sound the same, don't they? Ammonium chloride and sodium chloride. They both no. got chloride ions. But the ammonium chloride um, sublimates at... Uh, I'm not, not sure what temperature you could look that up. But according to the book here, according to the book, we're supposed to be getting like a solid solid material on the inside, it like a, a deposit. It looks solid. It's a little bit, there is a little bit of a whitish material, but... Maybe you can bang it. Please. Well, they're saying that you should be able to scrape it. And that's not going to happen. That is def That is not going to that's happen. False. So, that's false. That's fake. Look, it says use the measuring spoon. This is experiment seven. Use the measuring spoon to scrape off the ammonium chloride off the inside wall, but that is not happening. So experiment seven is... A fail. A fail. Okay. It's a boo-boo. A boo-boo. Let's pop that there. And we can't put the test tube back in the test tube rack. Why not? Because it's hot. It's hot and that's and plastic. So, make... ding! I'm not too sure what to do. Bing, bing. Maybe I what can it? stand it up is in it this. Hot? The bottom of it will be hot, I think. Okay, so experiment eight. Um, the next one. Heat one spoonful of calcium hydroxide and one spoon of ammonium chloride. Now, do not, do not just go and try random tasting random things. That was bad form of me showing you that to be honest but i was i was confident calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide now this is where we need to put your goggles on you put some goggles on please you, said you don't need any. oh well this one you do <laughs> okay calcium hydroxide it's a hydroxide it's a strong base and um you've got to be careful with strong bases <laughs> go muscles <laughs> you can't even open up the lid wait, wait. Are you kidding me? Come on, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, my Grandpa. Well, you're behaving like Grandpa. Uh, Let me get it for tough. you. That's tough, is it? It's child proof. Oh. So it can't go for me. Okay. Oh! Sort of like a dust comes <laughs> off. That's not good. No. Okay. Stay away. So, let's make sure we've got a clean spoon. And a clean spoon. We'll do one big spoon. Okay. Into the test tube. One big spoon. Calcium hydroxide. Otherwise known as lime. Yeah. Lime. Yeah, L I M E. Lime. L I M E. Lime. And you can use lime to make, um, uh, you add it to your mortar. To make, don't put the chemicals on there. Well, what are you? Hey, <laughs> okay, I'm a hey, hypocrite. Hey, right. a little hypocrite. And one spoon of ammonium chloride. Ammonium, that's sodium. There that's you go, there's there. ammonium chloride. N H. Oh. Four CL. Central ammonium chloride. Okay, now we we don't want to use the dirty spoon, so wipe it on the tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> like a moron. Not like a moron. You you want to try and use it's clean. Wet. What's wet? This. The spoon. Yeah. Is it really? Powder's not coming off. Powder's not coming off. No. You hold those two, and I'll give it a good clean. <laughs> I'll lick it. No, don't. <laughs> Numpty. That's just You're silly numpty. talk. Okay. You're lumpy. Alright. Yeehaw. There we go. That's a good clean. And I'll get the ammonium chloride. Yeah. Like this. A big spoon. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, let me give it a bit, bit more direct heat. Try and heat it more directly like that. Okay, so yes, move it around for sure. Now, they're saying that ammonia is going to come off, right? Ammonia gas. I don't gas. see any ammonia. Oh, oh. And ammonia is a very strong smelling to toxic yeah. chemical. And so to smell it, how would you smell a toxic chemical? Waft it. That's right, you'll waft it. Oh. So. I smell something bad. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yep, that's... That... Oh! That, <laughs> 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 No, don't open up the door. It'll be all right. Okay, so it does say in the book to do this um, near a window or where there's good ventilation. So we got a chemical reaction there, and the reaction produced ammonia, NH3. NH3, and so that's NH3. clearly come from the um, ammonium chloride, and it's reacted with the calcium hydroxide to form. Ammonia, NH3. NH3. It's a very pungent <laughs> gas. Um, so, waft. Like, use a few fingers and waft towards your nose. No, towards your nose. Towards your nose. <laughs> okay. So, that is you know. experiment eight. Okay. Okay. Good. Two more to go. Experiment um, nine. Nine. Is, um, we're going to light a bit of magnesium <gasps> ribbon. So... Sam's favourite, he thinks. So we'll get uh, the magnesium ribbon. Click it open like that. And it comes with two pieces of magnesium, which, to be honest, is not a lot of magnesium. Oh, what? Um, yeah, I've got I buy this stuff by the rolls, actually. Yeah, you do. So two is, two is not a lot. Um, but anyway, that's what yeah. it comes with. And I'll pop that lid back on. Where are you? He'll hold it with the pliers and he will ignite the magnesium ribbon. Oh, if, silly. If he doesn't drop it on the ground. He will. It's Here we go. Close but he'll blame door. me. Huh? He'll blame me, of course. Excuse me? Okay. Do you want... You've got these pliers. Are oh, you saying they don't close properly? No. Okay. Hold the ribbon in the scissors then. But don't snip it. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. So, a little bit of pressure, but not too much. Here we go. He's going to... It's going to be bright. It's going to be a bright light. It's not the hottest flame, is it? Let's hold it about there. Here we go. Yeah. Almost there. Almost. Come on. Come on. Do it. It's not really... This spirit burner doesn't produce Enough inten heat. intense heat, does it? No. Come on. I'm trying to get to the part of the flame which is the hottest. Come on. This is not, not easy, Dick. Oh, oh. I think I can. Hey! Now, don't you drop it onto my tablecloth. Oh. Okay, so it produces a white powder. And what's that white powder called, Sam? Uh, come on, mate. Uh, come on, come on. You burnt magnesium in oxygen. What do you think the white powder is? <laughs> you burnt magnesium in oxygen. Magnesium... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oxide. oxide. Magnesium oxide. Okay. Where All do right. I put this? Where do you put that? Yeah, maybe you could put it in your sunscreen lotion. That's why That's why they call it zinc cream. <laughs> zinc oxide. But, you know, magnesium oxide probably do something similar. Although, no guarantees. I don't know. Research it yourself. Okay. Oh. So that was um, experiment nine. And you I'm do need to supply it. your own pliers Ooh, for that one. Um, that Okay, but oh. as you can see, we used um, scissors. Yeah. Okay, then we're up to experiment 10. This is a bit of a tricky one here. And so with experiment 10, we need a third test tube. So we're cracking through the test tubes at the moment. Cracking, don't crack. Um, and so we've boom, boom. got a, a test tube stand like that. So you can actually like use... Ooh. Oh... Sam knows, how, Sam knows how to do it. I won't get involved. And rotate that like so. Like so. Because the fire is apparently going to go like oh, there. Uh oh, that's a thing. See that? And then... Um, I like it. 
I'll put the salt down there on the ground. <laughs> Don't we need, do we <laughs> and need I this? need to set that up there. So this is experiment 10 when we apparently we're going to be heating up some copper. copper? And so, copper? it says a one by one centimetre piece. So can you cut one centimetres off? Do you know one centimetre? Copper is a that brown. Got okay, good. Goldy. Goldy locks. Colour. Goldy. Uh, oh. That's not a one centimetre. One centimetre is better. Yeah, no, it is. I'm going to put a few little strips in to make it okay. work a bit better. Get a bit of good do I surface put them area. How far do I down? Down to the bottom, actually, do where I the heat is. So there you go. Oh. You, will you pop those in? Oh, Copper, okay. good conductor of heat, good conductor of electricity. E. And we're going to put in two spoonfuls of sodium hydrogen sulfate. Sodium hydrogen sulfate, which is this one. Sodium hydrogen sulfate. And I'll get the little opener and lever it open oh it's a white crystalline Ooh, look like sugar but you don't want to eat it <laughs> oh and you be dead hold it up here okay so that the viewers, viewers. the viewers can see it yeah viewers um it's it's it looks a little bit like i like ice amphetamine to be honest like the drug like the drug that's what it looks like not that i would know <laughs> I mean, I've Maybe it is. I've seen it on Border Patrol. Maybe it is. But this ice is a terrible drug, terrible blight on society. It makes people very, very um, agitated right. and violent. So, yes. terrible drug. Um, stay way well away from drugs. Sam, we stay away from drugs? Yes. Good. He sees what happens to people on Border what is it, that show? Border Patrol. Border Patrol. Can I light it? You can light it, mate. You light it up. And let's see what happens. Here it says, this is Ooh. this is what it says. Oh, I can see some melting and that sort of thing. What does it say? Oh. It says, clamp the test tube. And that's what we've just done. And at Ooh. a slight slant. Oh, the crystals are. With its open end down. Oh, getting boiling. Like this, wow. So, can I say what it smells like? Maybe not this Ooh. one. This one might be. Yeah, I can smell. Okay, the vape. <laughs> uh, what does it produce? Um, oh, that's, like, that's cool. The sodium it will melt with Cut. water vapor. Vapor will come out. Mm -hmm. After a few minutes, the vape production will subside. So this is actually water coming out. Oh, look at oh, the color. Green. It's green. It's going the green copper. there from the copper. That's right. Oh, and. Oh. Bubbly. Yeah, uh, you want to do this uh, where there, there, where there is plenty oh. of um, ventilation. Oh look, I see a bit of blue in the copper. Um. And listen. Try not to smell it. Then. I'm trying to detect what that smell that the melted mass will dissolve oh, in a light blue. Look, it's about to finish. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're definitely getting a um, chemical reaction happening there. Oh, don't, don't, damn. <laughs> okay. Magic. You have a look at that. Magic. You look at that. It's like a, we've got some, a green mess there. A green mess. And that green mess is, I think it says if we um, add Magic. water to it, um, <laughs> we'll get blue solution and it says you need the solution for experiments 11 and 13 and it says we've made a copper sulfate solution okay the metallic copper was mostly dissolved by the sodium hydrogen sulfate in the process the copper bonded with the sulfate forming um, sulfur and oxygen and this is a copper sulfate this is blue copper Ooh, sulfate that's how in I make the that's probably how they make that copper sulfate, the that's, blue stuff. That's it. Um, oh. Well, you can actually get copper sulfate um, in rocks. There's some rocks, mineral rocks, that are composed of copper sulfate. But in the laboratory, we've just made it with copper and what was the other chemical? Sodium hydrogen sulfate. Sodium hydrogen sulfate. Okay, now sulfate. the question is, has that cooled down enough for us to pour in a little bit of water probably Be probably because what will happen if what happens if 
It's not cold enough. I don't know. It will crack the test tube. I don't want it to crack the test tube. Hear it hissing. Oh, there it goes. I think it'll be all right. So I'll take it out and we'll give it a Ooh. we'll give it a mix like this. What about with the spoon? Um, mix, mix. Yeah, you can give it a mix with the spoon, and maybe mm. some of that um, copper sulfate will dissolve. Okay. Are we getting any dissolving happening there? Yeah. Of copper sulfate. I think so. We're going to leave it in there. We're going to leave it in there because there's sort of like... I've got some copper sulfate. you got some copper sulfate crystals. Very, very good. Tiny little blue. But I'll let that just dissolve overnight to get some more copper sulfate. Okay. Let me see if I can. So that was experiments 5 to 10 of the Chem 3000. Um, very good. I like, the, I like the ammonium chloride. Yeah. The I like the magnesium ribbon. The smell the of the ammonia was quite interesting. Yeah. And to make copper and sulfate. And I like the taste of ammonium chloride. Yeah. But don't taste it at home. No, okay, no, no, no. alright, alright. We'll see you guys later. And thanks for joining us today. Bye for Bye now. bye. <laughs>